Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. All right, in this video, I'm just going to give you a very personal, uh, I don't know, a few personal thoughts, uh, especially with that accident that took place, um, I think, what, yeah, two days ago. Um, and there are just a couple of things I just want to share with you. Okay, so in case you're searching for something of value, I don't know if there is, I'm just going to keep it open. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Lloyd Macedo. I'm a personal branding strategist. Um, help people get well-paying jobs in the Middle East, UAE, Dubai. Um, and uh, people book my services for personal or professional coaching. That is, uh, uh, if they have any issues, they can't talk to anyone. They book my services. Okay. So now, um, if you'd see a uh, the video a few days ago, I spoke about a road accident that took place. Um, the update that I first want to give you is the my neck and uh, my shoulder is still hurting. Just the muscle, it's like sore. It's really sore. I'm supposed to go for a massage, but I don't know. Just not thinking about it. Okay, that is one. The second thing is, yeah, my neck is slightly sore, but it's okay. In terms of uh, injuries, I don't see any injuries. I've not taken any painkillers. Yeah, a little bit of the waist, uh, my hip, okay, because, you know, fell down with impact. But more than that, I would say that uh, it has kind of, kind of impacted me a little bit mentally. I, um, you know, I've, I've, I've been thinking about I just did a little bit of search on Facebook, these groups, where these guys, um, there have been so many accidents. You know, generally, I'm not very hyperactive in checking other people's content. But I did a little bit of search in the groups, and, you know, there is a search function, accident. There are people whose faces have been smashed. There are people whose skin have been torn. There was one guy, I managed to bump into this video, both his ankles broke off completely. And uh, he was almost bedridden, unable to walk for nearly one to two years. He had to walk with support, bone completely busted and destroyed. Then to my shock, to my shock and horror, my wife told me that, uh, you know, I'd, I'd been to Bangkok for a business trip her aunt who came to meet her, her son, apparently in this week itself, he smashed into somebody and the person is severely injured and he has to pay nearly, I think, uh, uh, 5,000 or 10,000 US dollars. That's not small money. That's quite a sum. And uh, that is only for the operation or whatever. Plus, they can demand much more than that. So he's going to be stuck in that legal limbo. Then my wife also shared with me uh, relatives of hers who have actually died or met with an accident. So yeah, listening to all that, you begin to, bloody hell, man, this is crazy. man. And then on top of that, I was thinking on, I was very angry. To tell you very honestly, I was very angry that this guy came and hit me from back, this boy was driving recklessly. He was just enjoying, having fun. He was having fun. Driving on the road without a helmet at an incredibly insane speed for fun, for thrill. I was very angry, very, very angry. And I was thinking if I'd taken my daughter with me, for his thrill, for his fun, what would have happened? And I'll tell you some 
I really had some very dark thoughts, very, very dark thoughts, which I don't want to share here. But I was really wishing a lot of bad for him and his family. Seriously, I, I was really wishing a lot of bad things for him and his family. I was, I don't even want to get there. But as even now, even now, I'm pretty upset. I'm pretty angry. I've not been talking to my wife much. In fact, my wife was telling me, oh, you know, you drive like this, you do this. this uh, I finally snapped at her. I told her, I just told her, you know, just shut the fuck up. Come on. You're criticizing something that was not my fault. If I start criticizing you on your faults and I make it sound as if, you know, I'm better than you, you will run away from the house. Your imperfections are far more, so just shut the fuck up. I, I know that she is being concerned. But you know, as men, when you have something that is bothering you, when you're upset, when you're angry, and someone is constantly like chirping, 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 you know, nagging, you just lose it. And for me, I have many other things. I have clients, I have customers, I have work, creativity, different projects. And on top of that, uh, this one, that, that's the last thing I need. I, I don't need uh, nonsense. So yeah, I was very upset. I'm in pain physically. At the same time, I'm thinking of all those things that could happen. I'm watching all these videos and incidents where people are smashed. And some even have lost their limbs, man. Here in Thailand, huh? there are children who have died. Children who have died. Because of these, these, these idiots who are racing, man. Still, they just want to have fun. And, uh, you, you know, because I'm a guy, I prefer peace. I not only paid for my scooter for the repairs, I paid for him also because, you know, it, it was his brother's this thing and he has to go to work. But I was so angry, man. I'm still angry. I'm still irritated. And here's the funny thing. Huh? Here's the funny thing. Yesterday, I wanted to go out for to buy something, just 7-Eleven. And that fear came back. The, the thought, the accident, that moment. And generally, when I want to go out, I'm always happy. And I tell my daughter, come, let's go together. And I was like... Should I take my daughter? Even though I'll be going in the inwards, inside roads, there's a 7-Eleven here inside. Even though there's not going to be anybody, no traffic. So it has impacted me. I, I was thinking about my daughter. I was thinking about my wife. I was thinking, what if something would have happened? And, you know, and then you see the people who have had accidents, who have lost their limbs, who have been brutally injured, who someone has died, some of them who have, have gone to jail because of an accident, because of one fleeting moment of carelessness. And then there are others who, even worse, drink and drive, and they end up in prison for, I don't know how many years, but the person who they smashed into is an innocent bystander. There is one very horrific accident that took place here in Thailand, um, here nearby. Lady was pregnant and she is standing on the footpath, not on the road. This, I don't know, this laborer or someone was driving a cement truck. He was driving it at full speed because the road was empty, full speed. Lost control. He smashed into it such an impact. She was pregnant. The baby got ripped off. Her body got broken into two. Actual. I mean, you think about all this and you think, like, what the hell? What is life, man? And then you get these idiots who write, oh, this is God's way. Jesus is trying to call you. Oh, will you, uh, like, what? what is that? Zakir Naik, will you accept Allah as your, this thing? God is trying, shut the fuck up, man. Sometimes I really want to give them an answer that will humiliate them. Yeah, your God is busy taking revenge. Ah, I gave you an accident, so now you have to believe in me. Ha, ha, ha. 
oh yeah and he can't do anything about famines and wars and children getting raped and women being taken advantage and earthquakes and that all he can't do anything but he's more interested in me driving in the scooter yeah good no religion and god and their bullshit anyway it's it's going to take me a few days to just get my head sorted out and i'm glad one thing i'll tell you i am glad that this fear is there because it'll help me make smarter decisions and not be careless be more cautious but at the same time i'll tell you when an you know when you're being safe and you drive safe and you take care of yourself and still something bad happens you really begin to think you know a lot of things so yeah this is what i wanted to share with you guys um and yeah there have been some members in my whatsapp group who have sent private messages to me telling me about some really bad accidents that took place with them so it's really a shocker i'll tell you anyway if there's one message i want to leave you with is please drive safely please be safe offensively defensively and uh, take care of yourselves yeah i wouldn't want anything bad to happen to anyone that's whether you believe it or not i don't want these people who race and they drink and drive or these thrill seekers i don't even want to tell you the dark thoughts that i have inside the thoughts that i wish will happen to you but seriously if it does you deserve it because if you're going to play with your life fine you suffer you lose your hand you lose your leg you die that's okay don't make innocent people suffer for your stupidity anyway that's all i wanted to share with you let me know your thoughts in the comments below you agree disagree and uh, to there were one or two people who were very happy that god taught me a lesson or you deserve it every dog is his day my friend and when and if something does happen remember this face anyway you guys take care this me signing off